frequently asked question number five is King James onlyism divisive? Well, turn in your King James Bible to Matthew chapter 10, verse 34 through 36. Jesus Christ speaking here, he says, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Jesus Christ came to send a sword? I wonder where else there's a reference to a sword in the Bible. Hmm, I wonder where that could be. Perhaps maybe back in the book of Hebrews? Oh, I don't know. Just maybe. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart, Verse 13, Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and opened unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. There's no hiding from the book. Whatever your situation is, the book's got your number. The book judges. Okay? And notice it said there in verse 13, Hebrews 4, 13, Neither is there any creature that is not, that is manifest, in, not manifest in his sight, Sight, the His there is the Word of God. The book's alive. The Holy Spirit, in, it lives within the pages of this book. The Spirit of Truth is in this book. Now, um, when Jesus Christ was here on the earth the first time, did He bring peace or division? Division. We are in His body. We are members of the body of Christ. Do you think that we are going to bring uh, peace or division? Division. You say, but, yeah, but you see, the point is, we should not be dividing over which Bible we use. I mean, that's, that's, this is something that we shouldn't divide over. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. You see, because right here I have a Roman Catholic New American Bible and I have a King James Bible. They're not even the same Bible. They're not from the same part of the world. This is a sword of the Spirit. This is a, you know, I don't know what you want to call it, plastic putty knife or something like this. I mean, this, this thing is not the sword of the Spirit. This thing divides. And, you know, and again, people will say, yes, but, you know, you're using circular reasoning. You're using circular reasoning. You're, you're using the Bible to prove uh, the Bible, you know, causing division or something. Okay, well, uh, don't you think that uh, truth divides? Truth of any kind will divide. Even if you reject Scripture as being the absolute standard of truth, truth still is divisive. The only way to come together is through error and deception. So, you know, saying that it's somehow wrong or somehow sinful to divide over the Bible version issue uh, just shows a high degree of ignorance. Uh, yes, it is divisive. It absolutely is. And, you know, there are some people that you can talk to in a nice, kind way and you can be gentle in your handling with them. But there are other people that, uh, like the Bible talks about the, the mouth of a fool calls for strokes, you know, <laughs> Sometimes you just have to answer the fool according to their folly. You have to be a little rough with some people. And uh, I'm not going to you know, convert and come over here to this side. I'm not going to compromise and become a new version user. It's not going to happen. I am a King James Bible believer. You know, I have another video on my main channel, and, it, and it's, uh, well, the Husky 394 XP channel, where I talk about I used to be King James only, but now... You know, and the whole idea of the video is I used to be King James only, but now I'm a King James Bible believer. I could, there, there's a lot of guys out there that use this as the only Bible that they preach from, but they don't believe it for one minute. It's a much greater thing to say I use it and believe it. That's what I recommend for you. 
So don't fall for this thing of somehow it's, it's an evil thing if you're divisive, bringing division. Uh, that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Okay, a man that's divisive in bringing sowing discord among the brethren. I mean, think about this. Bible believers are saying, let's all use the same book so that we're all on the same page, you know. New versionists say, let's use hundreds of different versions, each one contradicting the other, and we'll just have confusion, mass confusion. Then we'll have unity. See? They're really the ones that are divisive, sinfully divisive, not those that stand by one standard. Keep that in mind.